I'm out here in Santa Santa Barbara right now, staying at this condo right here. I came out here to talk. There's something that's been bothering me, mainly my mom's side of the family. I don't think they realize it, but they're just not very supportive. I mentioned something about this on my last video. I try not to let it affect me, but of course, whatever you're pursuing in your life, it's a lot better when your family is supportive. I used to want to start a cannabis business. I still do. I knew about CBD since 2011 and I've got like CBD seeds like that's not my mom and dad they they don't even want me to have anything to do with cannabis and I'm not like trying to point blame or anything I'm just saying like I feel like if I would have had their support that I probably would have had my business by now but that's a whole nother thing right now I'm talking about YouTube obviously there's always an argument it, you see it in the comments like and people are also curious like how do you get away with video taping random people in public and the truth is like the laws are complex on that it's not like a cut and dry of what's okay and what's not okay and it's possible that in in some of my videos I'm skating the line especially the doxes where I have people being extremely rude to me like obviously I didn't get permission from those people I just feel like their behavior was so atrocious how can I not put them on blast today we went to the farmers market over here and we were having a nice day we're getting pies and blueberries and and then we see these dogs these gorgeous dogs that you saw in the beginning of this video and after that my brother he was like it seemed like he was mad at me and he was telling me like why don't you ask permission before you take video of that person's dogs and you know me i i give a smart ass response of well then they might say no but the truth is i don't feel like i'm doing anything wrong and i feel like if somebody's out at the farmer's market with their dogs and I want to take a picture I'm just gonna do it like it doesn't seem like a big deal to me I of course am gonna be responsible in my mind with the footage and I'm certainly not planning to do anything sinister with it but my brother has a whole other angle he thinks that you need to ask permission and when I told him that totally defeats the purpose of me trying to give a candid like a can I, I want I want candid shots of people and that would defeat the purpose so my brother said well then why don't you ask after and I told him well legally I don't need to he got kind of heated about it later on I told him about like these civil rights guys that make videos on YouTube and they kind of make a stink and people get angry at them. I, I think you guys have seen these. Like one of them, the guy has a sign that says, Fuck, snowbirds in Florida. These are the people that come to Florida during the winter, get in the good weather. And people were pissed off and people were coming up to him, but he had every right to be there with that sign. And even after the police coming, the police couldn't do anything because he was within his rights, no matter how much people wanted him to stop. Understand how important our First Amendment rights are. I don't know, it's very concerning to me. Now, keep in mind, my brother's 10 years younger than me. So he he's had a different experience, I suppose. Um, I don't see how, basically he thinks that I'm being a jerk because I'm not, I'm just pointing my camera at people and I'm not asking if it's okay. And somehow I'm like violating their privacy even though we're in a public place. It makes me sad that my own family doesn't want to support me. Now, I tried to make the point that street photography has been an art form ever since the camera was invented. And it's a valid art form. And what I'm doing is street photography. Like that was, that's my inspiration. That's what I meant to do and that's what I'm doing. And that still wasn't good enough for him. I just get a lot of negativity from that side of the family. So obviously like I get a lot of support from them in different ways, but 
you know, like I said in my last video, it would just be nice if people would uh, be supportive of my art. I, I really don't understand why they think that I'm doing something wrong. To argue so hard a point that I've been re researching for over a year now, and they haven't researched for a minute, it just makes me wonder where they're really coming from with us. The guy that I was telling you about that makes videos where people get pissed off and come and tell them to leave and then they call the cops and then the cops can't do anything because he's not doing anything wrong. Well, that guy said something in one of his videos that I thought was really great. He said, when asked, why don't you ask first? He said, did Rosa Parks ask to get on the front of the bus? When I told my brother about that, he acted very offended. He said that, what group is he from that his civil rights have been violated? And I'm like, no, it's, his civil rights are violated when if people try to stop him from recording, he has every right to record. And he's like, but what group is he from? Like photographers? Like what, is he from a marginalized group? And I'm like, that's not the point. He's an American. Like it doesn't, he doesn't have to be from a group. And that like somehow using Rosa Parks as an example was shameful because like it's just not a good example, but it's, it's, both, it's all civil rights. Like the fact that cannabis has been illegal and people are put in prison. People had to be on the back of the bus and use separate bathrooms and couldn't go to the same restaurants. Like this, this, this is all civil rights. Uber drivers having a right not to be ripped off by the apps, not to be ripped off by the companies. It's all civil rights. Before Rosa Parks got on that bus, people didn't even think to do that. Like, that would be insane. Like, that's not where black people sit. But Rosa Parks sat in the front because she was a forward thinker. And she wasn't about to let societal standards stop her from doing what she knew was right. I'm not trying to compare myself or anybody else to what Rosa Parks did. I am trying to say that you need to stand up for your rights. We all do. Don't let your family members tell you that you're wrong. If you believe strongly in something and you think it's the right thing, I'm sorry, like, they need, like, it's not your problem that they can't accept you. I have a feeling, ultimately, they are gonna accept you. And if they can't, that's not your problem. I've spent a long time trying to, you know, measure up and fit into standards set by like, you know, my mom, my dad, all the people around me. And now that I'm older, I'm starting to realize like, as much as they want what's best for me, only I know what's best for me. Like, yeah, sure, when I'm younger, they can protect you and they do know what's best for you, but I'm old now and they don't fully understand my life. And if I did everything that they said, I probably would have gone crazy by now. What I'm trying to say in this video is, you know, follow your heart. You know, so cliche, but it's so pure. The candid shots that I get of Los Angeles and wherever I am, be able to go look back on 2019 and be like, wow, that was, that's what that was like. And I'm all for getting permission from people, but I'm also like, if I could just get a fleeting shot of the farmer's market, just to kind of show you what it's like. And if I see somebody's dogs that just look gorgeous, I'm going to point my camera at it and I'm not going to ask. And if they, they uh, get upset or they get like a weird face or get scared, like uh, I'm going to apologize. And I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to like offend you. I'm all for being polite, but I'm going to get that shot for you guys. And I know you appreciate it, and that's why I'm going to continue to do it. I'm, I'm really not trying to violate anybody. And I realize, like, some people may take it that way. I don't really understand it. And I'm, I'm not sorry for that. And I'm not saying that, like, your feelings aren't valid. They obviously are. The world, like, it's not within your boundary to not have somebody point a camera at you in public. You can only control what's in your boundary. As I said in my last video, if you do have a problem 
what I suggest you do is just ask nicely. Could could you please not point the camera at you? Like not. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting tired. It's late. Do you hear the ocean? But yeah, all you got to do is ask, and I'm sure the people will be cool about it. Don't ever behave entitled because you're not entitled to not have your picture taken unless you're a celebrity's child i believe there's a law in la where you can't take pictures of a celebrity's child other than that well tell everybody to what do people need to do to my channel paul subscribe and leave a thumbs up leave a comment bye